What's up guys, Yugi Rose here with our first place winner, uh, John, playing uh, Gravekeepers. Uh, would you like to say anything before we go into the video? Not really. Not really. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, first things first, uh, the skill, uh, Necro Valley skill, basically. Um, just good skill. And against a relinquish matchup, I get the boost for the attack, so even if I have a monster that they didn't take, this, or if I get a monster on the field, uh, this they can't beat over it, so I'm safe. Oh yeah, if they take something. If they take something, the right. That's cool. Um, so it's just a good skill to play with the Gravekeepers. Fair enough. Uh, moving on. Moving on to the monsters. Three uh, recruiters, search card, any of your strategies, you just play this, and you can go off of, you know, off of that. Uh, just a good card. A 17 on defense with uh, with this on the field. Uh, 14 attack, which is pretty strong for the normal summon. Not bad at all uh, with the Necro Valley skill. Yep. Um, three of Ambusher, uh, 1900 beats, they can't beat over that. Yeah, um, that's always pretty it's, good. It's just a, an amazing card. Can be searched off uh, the last monster, so if you need just, if you're going against a weaker deck, you just play this and you're golden. And then uh, obviously the boss monster, one of these, um, one of the oracles. You don't want to play more than that in this deck just because you don't want to see it that, like, opening hand. Right. It's not good in it. Yeah. Um, but it's so, so it, yeah, but it's awesome against every other matchup just because if you they take relinquished, still goes. Uh, you can use the effect to make it to uh, zero. You can go against blue eyes. It makes the, their monsters just weaker all around. And if for some uh, reason, someone sets a bunch of monsters in there. You can and pop if all the exactly, set. if they set monsters, you can just pop them. And worst case scenario, if they're weaker, you can, or weaker monsters, you can just use the the third effect that makes him go uh, stronger. Yeah, uh, just all around an amazing card. So right. the great strategy with this though is that if you use uh, this against Blue Eyes when their board is set, you make their monsters go to like a thousand or nine hundred. They have to sacrifice all that board just to bring another dragon in. Just to get over that. Yeah. Uh, just to get over it. Uh, so don't. it's just amazing. And then with this and also the. Uh, traps that I play they're just gonna, gonna make it them up over. exactly they're just gonna make it uh, that much better Fair enough. So, uh, so this is for monsters okay. was that, seven? Uh, that would be yes. seven yes um, then I play three right of spirits so it's just amazing because I can so basically bring monsters. out any of these with that what, what the good strategy with this is that basically you play one of these this gets beat over, but you set search that, oracle. you set search oracle, and then you, and you play that, in. bring it back, you tribute it, and you still get the effect, so you can get another one, so you can either play that, and then next turn have a 1900 beat stick. Yeah, it's just a solid, it's just a setup. solid setup all around. Yep. Uh, one windstorm, it's nice uh, for those matchups against blue eyes that you can't target uh anything like that yeah. uh but like it's just, all the traps you play it's not right but you don't need too many because did this you ever is, think you needed more or you just i don't think i need more okay. um i'm actually thinking of taking this out really? not leaving it in. Fair enough. um i play two checkpoints this is god amazing so card won me games Today. Like I know a lot of people hated on this because viral infection was a card and they could just pitch their hand, but a lot of people learned how to play against viral, so people aren't playing viral infection as much as a skill anymore. So this is really good. This actually won me the blue eyes matchup. Uh, I they swung with their blue eyes. I used that. Okay. I removed Karibo from their hand. Yeah, that's right. And I can see their hand, so I know they don't have another Karibo. So I went for game with Oracle yeah. and Ambusher. Yeah. So it's just an amazing card. That's hand knowledge is always it's, key in this right, game. Right, right. Standing against blue eyes and relinquish blue eyes or relinquish those monsters. Every deck today, almost. Oh, the Harpy thing too. Right? So Harpy has decks because of their draw power. If yep. they play Harpy Amazon, yep. Amazons usually have deck because or have cards in hand uh, that 
to get hit by this. Uh, relinquished, you know when they have relinquished in hand because they usually search yeah, it. They're, sphere and they have sphere. You just this card is almost always live against the meta right now. Uh, I play three kunais. Uh, just an amazing card. You can. Unless you're going as uh, blue eyes, you can target any monster on the board. Just make it, put it into the fence, or you can just, you know, make your monster stronger. That's right. also fun. It's just uh, better it's battle just, tactic. Yeah, it's just better. I like this better than Windstorm uh, all around, just because they swing into me and my um, either ambusher is already on the board, and they think, okay, I can just swing over it, or if uh, recruiters on the board. At 14, I can always make them stronger 19. if I want to save them. 19 is a magic number. Yeah, and it's just all around, it's just an amazing card. Yep. Uh, and then I play two ready for intercept. Best trap in the game. Such an amazing card. Uh, you play this, they try to take one of your. Like, let's say if you're going against Relinquished, they try to take your monster. You, you can use flip this, monster flip it, down. get into the grave, then Rite of Spirit it back. And beat over Relinquish. Or flip over the Relinquish when it comes out. Exactly. So they can't take anything. Um, it's live against like, every it relevant lives, deck right Live now. against Blue Eyes. If Blue Eyes tries to use the Lord Flute, Lord of D, this makes it go away. It's, it's just amazing. Yep. Amazing. Uh, and the last two cards, Dust Tornado, uh, not so good against the Blue Eyes matchup. <clears throat> However, <throat> any other card... Or any other other deck is just amazing. Uh, Relinquish, you pop their their back row, you can pop their monsters, so Relinquish is at zero again. Uh, you can, if you're going against the mirror match, it's all back row. It's just an amazing card. Uh, side deck, so I play one windstorm or one dust storm or tornado just in case uh, mirror if i want to side another one against uh relinquished amazon they all use spell everything traps. that's not blue eyes it, it, literally Arguably. anything that's not blue eyes yeah. you just play one of these um again anything that's not blue eyes uh you can use mass stall card good time stall card. Five as you can see longest. my deck wants to stall so <laughs> uh worst case scenario you use this on relinquished you use this on any of their monsters they can't attack and they you burn them so guess what you can go for game that way uh worst case scenario deck them out yeah. you're good um and or make them burn their back row hate on it pretty much and they have to also uh if you play this they have to tribute their relinquished they have to tribute their monsters oh, yeah, if the and gets in order to remove this yep. and Two magic jammers again, good against relinquish, good against blue eyes. Uh, you can stop flute, you can stop uh, relinquish summoning. Really good, and then you can uh, extra way to pitch uh, him or pitch any or card. And bring him back but to right. and exactly, and go into right and bring him back. Yeah. So it's just an amazing card yeah. in this type of deck. And the last one because we're doing six sides. Oh yeah, we're uh, playing the Nats viral. rules. Viral is good because you can, again, pitch monsters, so you can revive it with uh, Rite of Spirit, you can pitch anything, it's literally mainly, anything you don't want. Mainly need. for Relinquished, right? Uh, mainly for versions. Relinquished, uh, yeah, because you want to pitch all, basically as many, basically I would pitch everything that's not right if yeah. I see I have a monster, right. I would pitch my hand, call spells, good luck getting Relinquished out, and then on their turn I just Rite of Spirit and get this guy back. Yeah, we're playing the, so the Nats rules for the North American WCQ are that you get a six card side deck instead of a five one, and your character skills don't have to be the same, so you can play into Shizu and then go into a Kaiba or whatever. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the rules officially going forward, but if it is, oh well, regardless if it is or not, we want to practice for the event, so we're playing that. So, Alright, well, that's it. Um, well, the one thing is though that I probably would not play this anymore. Oh, okay. Um, Just because it's it's nice, but people have learned to play around it. Yeah. Uh, I would That's probably true. cut this out and side windstorm. Um, that's the only thing that I saw that was a thing about this is that you sometimes don't see the monsters. So. Um, what I wanted to do is probably take Windstorm out to the side and play this card. Oh, in the main deck? Uh, in the main deck. Yeah. To see more monsters. And worst case scenario, uh, it's basically more boost. 
right. if I need it. Because um, basically, I get 400 instead of 200. If they're both up, yeah. That, uh, with both of them on the field. So but yeah, if this dies, that's still treated as necromancy. Exactly. Right? So, worst case scenario, if this dies and you got no field. This is big defense. Well, actually, yeah, you have to have no field, so you don't get 400. You get only 200. If you have both of them? No. You, this the effect doesn't... No, no, I know that. Yeah, if that's out, it's 200, 200. If this is out, it's well, 200, yeah, 200. Well, yeah, exactly. You have both, so four. if you have both of them, you get 400. Yeah. So it doesn't get treated as Necro Valley if the field is in play, but if it's not, then it's getting treated sure, as Sure, but like the, you have but, Necro yeah, Valley at that point. Anyway, exactly. So it's all right. But both the of boost these, is still regardless. Right. So. so basically you're getting 400 boost if both of these are on the field. Yep. So what you want to do is basically set this and then pass, and if they it. try to swing into it's it, 19. it's 19 rather than 15. And or now you get a 4-4 exactly. exactly. for everything else that comes out. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Any shoutouts? Uh, shout out to Yugi Bros. We've been testing this deck a lot. Uh, this deck's really nice. I love uh, this version and the Dice Foon version. Yeah. <laughs> I like this version more than Dice Foon just because of the whole boosting of the damage yeah. together. Right, no. Um, I don't disagree with that either. I'm like, that's really The solid. Dice Foon is nice, but if you see two Dice Foons, have fun maybe getting... I, sure, sure. I know. And, but yeah, I like no, the, I get just it. Basic I get it. back row destruction. But yeah, I just, I just deck. like the whole um, control deck. So this is just I like it. Any more shout outs? Uh, shout out to uh, the store we're in, Kerwin's Game Store. We got this. Basically, all the cards I'm getting is here. Yeah, we got OTS packs store, now. ODS ODS tournament packs now, so it's yeah, it was pretty good. All right. Uh, good? Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. Alright guys, UB Bros, signing out. Peace.